What is up YouTube? So in this video, I have purchased an Apple Mighty Mouse model A1552. And as some of y'all might know, it was first old, sold in August 2, 2005, which was only the wired version. Then from 2006 to 2009, they sold Bluetooth version. And from then on, after 2009, they had to change their name to Apple something, but yeah. So yeah, let's go get ahead and open this packet. So there, we have opened it. Mission accomplished. So in this packet, I have two Wii controllers, which shall be for another video. They do not work, so... The video is on how to repair them, and I guess uh, they're all from the same seller, so yeah. So I could, y'all could tell that these things do not work because they're unpacked. I mean, they're like unsealed. But as for this, it seems pretty, pretty. It seems like if it's pretty, pretty strong to hold the trick. But anyways, the trip wasn't from that far away. It was just from like four cities away, four states away. Never mind. All right, so I have put that aside, and now I shall open the mouse. So yeah, I'll begin by cutting out the top. mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above me. I breathe and seem to guys after several tries well no <clears throat> after several minutes I managed to open this thing up it's pretty intensely in the paper well those were some pretty good packaging skills okay so at first sight the mouse seems dirty so I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of furniture polish just so that we could get it back to its former glory of glowing because this is a little bit scratched up and well look at the back guys so as you can see it's very dirty so we have to clean that up too so here i have a mini rag as you can as you can see it's two sides so that one side could be dry if we go like this and the other side could be kind of wet okay so we're going to apply some on the rag there. Wow, that was more like a lot. Okay, sorry. Could easily distribute it. So it's not how I wanted it to be. But alright. It's lemony scent, so it's pretty good. I even got some on my desk. It's clean now. Alright. So, now I'm just going to clean it up. So we Okay guys, so after scrubbing it, I am done cleaning it. So if you notice, I did start cleaning with a uh, stuffed animal at the end with its leg. So yeah, it now looks more wider than before and here are some before and after pictures. You could kind of tell the big difference in it. So. Yeah, so now let's go ahead and talk about, well, more like review and compare it to our normal mouse. Yes, this is almost like 
almost like a gaming mouse but different it's like between gaming and normal mouse so i'm going to compare this basically your normal mouse and your apple from 2007. at this point i have removed everything from my desk as you can tell so now i'm just going to disconnect my printer and i'm going to plug in my mouse and here it is we'll look at this this is definitely something different from every single day just compare this two mouses this one looks more futuristic and oldish this makes it seem futuristic and kind of old because you know remember back in the mouses and this is just your normal mouse okay so first of all one main difference that they both have is have you guessed Yes, they're both the same, but in comparison, well, and the only difference that they have is the amount of buttons. So this one, it basically has one and two. This acts as a button, but really, it's you're still using the same button as if you were to press it. So you had no right click in it. You only had left click on it. So equivalent to using this button. So you had, you didn't have this button. Okay, so those were the fun times. Okay. So basically the handle, the ha you're basically used to going like this with your finger, with this finger, your index finger, because you go like this every single day. Well in the mouse, you basically go like this. You use all three fingers and you have to, you have to, you know, rest in places, which is weird. Okay, so next I'm going to bring up my thing magic. Okay, so the scrolling, you're used to scrolling like this to just get that moving, right? Well, in your Apple mouse, you have this, which definitely feels weird because like you're used to going from side to side and, you know, never like changing. One is, if you go too much to the side, you go like that and like that, which is really not the best thing in the world. And to scroll, you got to go like basically like this on this part. I'm not sure. And then like this on the internet. And it's now never mind. Alright. So it is like this to go from side to side, so good deal. Okay, and yeah, it's basically way different from what you're used to seeing in your everyday life. So, for example, I search up uh, something, Ecoseek, I'm not sure what it means. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, whatever. So, you try running this and that you want to look at your news with your Apple. Well, it feels very weird. You would kind of rather have this than this. Yes, by a lot. You know why? Well, the reason is this one is just more comfortable, like the sides and everything. For this one, you only have this two, and you're basically like this. You're, you might as well go like this. And, and like this, you're like, it's more restful. So, see, it's, it's more weird. But then again, this one's from 2010. I know it's old. And this one is actually from 2010. 2007 so i couldn't get the comparison but anyways max still developed continue making these scrolling which yeah kind of gets on people's nerves well at least on my nerves and as we can see we still get that logo so now these mouses are ranging at around like 20 bucks so if you are an apple fan but you can't afford apple products well, this is right for you. You see, we even get our things and all that. So, it's a very cool mouse to have. I kind of don't recommend it and I kind of do recommend it. So, this mouse was manufactured by Mitsumi Electric and it was actually sold by Apple. The first year it sold was August second 2005 and a bluetooth version was available from 2006 to 2009 
Before, the Mighty Mouse was sold only one button mouse with its computers. So this mouse was actually shipped with every single iBook in the G in the G series with only one button. So basically, if you bought one of Apple's laptops back then, you got this included, except the MacBook, of course. As with this, they are cheap, so I get why Windows never did the that type of deal. But anyways, Apple doesn't do it anymore, even though it's more expensive. And that is a short review of the Apple model number A1152.